What's up, YouTube? It's Tropic Angels in the motherfucking house with the dog Leo. We're on our way to my dad's house. And since the weather is getting better, it is time to plant the bananas. So, we got the insate. <clears throat> Might be too early for that guy, but whatever. And he's really small, but that'll be fine. And then we got, hopefully you can see, all the bananas right here. The Musa Valentina, shouldn't be doing this while driving. The Musa Valentina right down here has a little puppet, you can see. So we're going into this with a pup. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five bananas that we're gonna be planting in the ground. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna put them. I'm also going to be throwing down um, my seeds for the garden this year. I threw them down a little early uh, last year and as soon as it got warm enough they all sprouted and I managed to get fruit out of everything so I just throw them down now and when they're ready to come up they'll come up. Anyways we are going to continue this video when we get to my dad's house in the next like two minutes. Gotta figure out somewhere to put the bananas. I'm not sure where yet. All right, YouTube, Tropic Angels back in the house. Uh, it's been a success. This might not look the most appealing right now, but I'm pretty sure in the next couple of months, this will look great. We got the Ansete right here, Musabashu right in the middle. Looking awesome, looking humongous. But I, the way that the new spear was in the car kind of bent a little bit. He will, or she, will come back and make a good comeback. I'm not sure where to put this leaf. And we got the Musa Valentina, a Musa Valentina pup that you guys see. And we have the ice cream java banana. I'm pretty sure this is. This is an edible form of banana. I'm not entirely sure which one it is though only because I stole it from a random plant while in Florida. Uh, but yeah, I guess last thing was uh, Insette Marielli. Mariela, whatever you want to say. Also looks just beautiful right in there. So I'm assuming these guys would be great. This is from the old Insette leaf, which sadly died. I'm not sure, I cut off all the leaves and, and it just um, it gave up on me. I'm not sure what happened. Everyone said that it would have came back and it I literally came back one week and it was just completely destroyed. Uh, like, not destroyed, but it was laying on the ground all mushy and just gone. It was all rotted up. There's probably too much water in there. So I guess that's a big loss and it would have been great to see something like that this upcoming summer but you know things happen so these all right youtube sorry if this video is too long if you guys don't want to watch this don't watch so i had all these green fertilizer pellets that came with a big tracky park and six in, in my apartment right now but i use this packet on here because I did throw the other packet on the track carpets a couple months ago. This is tropical plant food. I don't know. The synthetic fertilizers in the palm trees make them grow faster, so I'm just gonna use it on the one that's already in the ground. Um, just like any plant, the synthetic fertilizer. This isn't about organic. This is about palm tree. This is about, I have a limited time until I move out. Um, my lease will be up in January, so it'll get protected and it'll survive again, but after that it's really not going to receive care that it needs you know so we got the epsom salt that we got from local grocery store and i'm gonna pour a healthy amount on there also if you want to take a look at organics this is the palm fertilizer we used last year job's organic it smells absolutely terrible but it actually did work pretty good all the palms were alive all the palms were happy Everybody survived and then the winter came and uh, the cigarette smoke and the lack of care, I'm assuming. 
put everything down down here. So, anyways, it's a good view, I guess. Especially if I go like this. There we go. I gotta break it up and sit in there for a while. Honestly, I'm not sure how much to put, so don't listen to me. There's probably someone out there who knows what they do. Uh, guy was putting a half a pound I saw on this uh, palm tree page. Get up! Go! Go! He's putting half a pound on his cocoa palm. So, you know, they were growing pretty well. Epsom salt. I really don't know the benefits. All I know is that it actually does really good for the palm. So I will put a healthy amount. Might be a little too happy. Hey, get out of here. Go. So I put some Epsom salt on the garden as well. I'm not sure if it benefits regular plants, but I don't see why not. So I'm going to water in the Epsom salt so the dogs don't mess with it. Epsom salt. Should have some healthy palm trees. Should have. We'll see. We'll see how things go. No more water down. It's looking a little light, uh, a darker green, almost like a green olive, but the center growth is super green. So I'm assuming that it's fine. All right, YouTube, last thing. I'm just gonna show you Mr. Mexican Fab Home. This is the guy. This, uh, you guys look back on the video the most viewed video on the channel it's mexican fan palm from death to thriving and this guy is the star of that video and he had literally nothing he had a spear that was smaller than this spear smaller than this beer. It's just a little tiny thing. And it came back, bounced right back. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Palm speaks for himself. Mexican fan palm. I don't know why this dude did a whole 180 after being uh, planted, or not planted, protected. It's on a tilt. It's still alive though. This this is my favorite because I grew this one from the seed. That one I got online, but when I got it, it was this size. So and by the end of the summer. Maybe I should put this one on the ground. This one was pretty cool. I picked it from a tree that I picked. It's actually really cool. It might be a... That one might be a polypora. It's definitely a polypora. I think Frankie said that in the last video. Yeah, this definitely has polypora. There's... Really, no spikes. But, uh, yeah, that one came. We'll see if I put them in the ground. I might put them in the ground, but like I said, I kind of want to wait.
All right, guys. Pretty cool sight to see. Blueberry plant that we got last year. I planted. Uh, I removed it and replanted it like three times last year. It looks really healthy and really green, and all the leaves are back. So maybe this year we'll get some blueberries, but no promises. But that was really exciting to see. It's pasta. Yeah, the pasta is really, really cool. I mean, it's really cool, but I stole it from uh, a house down there. I stole, I just ripped a piece out, no root or anything, shoved it in a glass of water, and all of a sudden it came alive and made a little plant. So it's actually pretty cool. Looks like the lights were unplugged, which is awesome. So I got to them off. But uh, pineapples look okay. Alright YouTube, last thing, I'm just gonna show you Mr. Mexican Fan Home. This is the guy. This uh if you guys look back on the video, the most viewed video on the channel, it's Mexican Fan Home from Death to Thriving. And this guy is the star of that video. And he had literally nothing. He had a spear that was smaller than this spear. A spear that was smaller than this spear. Just a little tiny thing. And it came back, bounced right back. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Palm speaks for himself. Mexican fan palm. I don't know why this dude did a whole 180 after being uh, planted. Or not planted, protected. He's on a tilt. He's still alive though. This, this is my favorite because I grew this one from the seed. That one I got online. But when I got it, it was this size. So, and by the end of the summer, maybe I should put this one on the ground. This one was pretty cool. I picked it from a tree that I picked. It's actually really cool. It might be a Frankie said that in the last video. Yeah, this definitely has proliferate. There's really no spikes. But uh yeah, that one came We'll see if I put them in the ground. I might put them in the ground, but like I said, I kinda wanna wait. 